Atlas just announced their new humanoid robot. You might be wondering why it's designed like this, and I'll be going over exactly why they did it the way they did. You can see all the joints can rotate pretty much 360, and there's for good reasons as we will see later on. So here you can see the face, it has some cameras, and then on the back there appears to be an antenna, but you can see that it's pretty fluid in terms of how it moves. So as you guys know, humanoid robots have been in development for a long time, and one of the main challenges is that they fall a lot. So this was in the DARPA challenge a while back, and you can see that it easily loses balance, and when it does, it actually has a very hard time getting back up, which we'll see later on. But you can see all these robots, they fall in various ways, and then a lot of times they need to use their arms as well as their legs to stand back up. So that whole process can be very time consuming and we'll be doing a comparison between the fall recovery between some of these previous robots as well as the new robot that was just announced by Boston Dynamics. So you can see that all of these examples, they fall in a very painful way and sometimes they can't even get up, get up as we'll see later on. In some cases you actually need some assistance. So it's been a long ways in terms of development, but they're definitely progressing in the right direction. So here you can see that this robot here is falling and is going to attempt to get back up. You can see right now the lady in the video um, was trying to help at first, and then she's trying to let the robot get up by itself. You can see the legs are moving back and it's kind of using its arms behind its body and trying to push itself up, but you can see it's struggling. So the lady ends up intervening and helping the robot get up. So you can see that this fall recovery here is still not that great and there's still definitely a lot of work to do. And here is the Jilly Robotics. You can see that they have implemented their own way of um, standing up after falling, but it's painfully slow to watch. It takes them about 20 seconds to actually go through the whole standing up process. But you can see that it first moves its legs towards the center of the body, and then it uses its arms to push itself up. And even the pushing up process takes a while. And it's the, the main idea of pushing the arms is to try to get the center of mass above the feet, and that allows it to stand up after it has done that. And here you can see this is an old Atlas robot. So this old Atlas robot, you can see it's lying on the floor. And then later on, the user here is going to try to activate the get up mode. But again, it's going to be pretty slow in how it gets up. First, it uses its legs to push itself up. And then finally, after it finds its balance, it's going to use its legs to squat up. But even this took about 15 seconds. So nothing compared to the robot now, you can see that all it needs to do is rotate the legs towards the center of body, and then it just needs to stand up. So it's able to do this so quickly because by rotating the legs to the center of the body, as you can see right here, it actually positions the center of mass directly um, between its legs, and that allows it to just immediately use the strength of the legs to push itself up. And another thing that uh, has been changing in terms of the development is that previously it's been painfully slow to turn the body. So you could see that here in a DARPA challenge, it wants to try to face the wall and it needs to take one step at a time to slowly reposition the feet to face exactly where it wants to. So this whole process took about 20 seconds and it's again painfully slow to watch. But you could see later on this new video with the new Atlas, all it needs to do is rotate its torso and it could face in any direction it wants. So this whole process takes about one second to do the turn and you can imagine the applications in the future where it needs to um, face different directions and it, it just makes everything much easier without having to worry about the foot positioning. Alright, so if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.